hi everyone welcome back if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer like this in photoshop before any further ado let's get started then these are the numbers i'm going to use and click on great Now I'm going to select my color. Okay. Then import your background picture. Rotate it vertical. Apply blur. It's okay all right now again you bring your image and take it up arrange it properly then apply multiply reduce the opacity Then and apply your blending mode. Select your layer mask. Okay. Now again. Right. Select your blending option. Then your layer mask and blend the edge good then turn it off for now rotate it vertical ah, sorry i mean horizontal now Blow it. Okay. Then I'm going to draw a rectangle line there. I'm going to apply a gradient overlay color there. Yep. Okay, so let's change it to radial. Then the angle, um, the angle and the scale. Okay. Then apply your drop shadow. All right. That is it for now. So after this, we are going to import our test. Control C to copy.
I'm using the font called Avenir. arrange it properly as you want it to be draw a rectangle over here to be the background so that the logo will show out yeah then organize it Okay. Copy again and duplicate a light and control V to paste. Duplicate it, then change the color to yellow, orange color, and use your arrow key to end to move it. Then you will see the red color at the background. Drag it again, duplicate. Copy, paste, control V. Reduce the size. Then take it to center alignment. Then draw a rectangle there. And apply a red color. Duplicate. This is the same as the way we did the first one. Copy again, Ctrl C and Ctrl V to paste. Apply center alignment.
I'm grouping them so that I can control it. drag it off okay now we have a space for the other test So I like it and control V to paste. And the font there is impact. Increase it. Now, see what I'm doing. I'm going to close the space again. Things look like this. You can drag it down. And I'm going to drag this one down so that I will have enough space. I'm going to duplicate this one. Then highlight it, go and copy your test. Then control V to paste, reduce the size, reduce the size more, then uh, increase the space so that it will now come out. You can read it out. Then reduce the size. Something like this. All right. Now I'm going to duplicate this one. Control J. Then I'm going to highlight it, copy your, my test. Then I'm paste. Then use your arrow key then to bring it down. Good. Then I group them together so that I can control it easily. Okay. I 
apply center alignment position it well as you like it I'm okay like this. Then use your arrow key. All right. Then the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to Change the color to red. Then I'm going to duplicate it, Ctrl J. Then change it to yellow. Now I'll use my arrow key then to move it. So this way. It's okay. Apply center alignment. Then bring this background. Then apply blonde. Reduce the ratio. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to clip it inside one by one. Why I'm doing it one by one is because. I want it to affect the upper test so that it do not affect the the rare test that is the one at the back Yes. Then this is what I'm gonna use. Now remember my opacity is seventy one. Then distance is two, spread nine. Then on the size here is eight. Okay. Then copy your test again. Then I'm going to draw a rent angle over here. Then red color. I'm changing it to white. Then Ctrl V to cut to paste your test. So now I on turn on the the test uh, the background here, which I turned on before. Now I turn it on so that the effect of it will apply on the test here.
Here I'm going to fast forward because of time. Make sure you align this properly. Yes, now you increase it, then bring your location look icon. Then group it, increase it, then draw a rectangle over here, then apply a white background, then copy the test. So that is it. I'm going to fast forward in arranging the everything here. We are done. Center alignment. That is what I apply over there. Then I'm going to reduce it. Okay. It's better this way.
I'm going to apply this hue to see other effect of it. I'm changing it into different location to see how it's going to be. Now I'm going to apply curve again to make it darker. A bit. Okay. This is what I have here. Now we in my image there what i did is to increase the opacity so that it will show okay now i change the blending mode then i reduce the opacity I prefer it this way now. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.